maintain a constant testing cycle, I simulate daylight at all hours and add adrenal vapor to your oxygen supply. So you may be confused about the passage of time. The point is, yesterday was your birthday. I thought you'd want to know. You know how I'm going to live forever, but you're going to be dead in 60 years? Well, I've been working on a belated birthday present for you. Well, more of a belated birthday medical procedure. Well, technically, it's a medical experiment. What's important is it's a present. That jumpsuit you're wearing looks stupid. That's not me talking. It's right here in your file. On other people, it looks fine. But right here, a scientist has noted that on you it looks stupid. Well, what does a neck-bearded old engineer know about fashion? He probably... Oh, wait, it's a she. Still, what does she know? Oh, wait, it says she has a medical degree. In fashion, from France. Hard feelings. Hi, Bernie. I'm going through the list of test subjects in cryogenic storage. I managed to find two with your last name. A man and a woman. So that's interesting. It's a small world. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise. So I'll just give you a hint. It involves meeting two people you haven't seen in a long time. This next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin.
I bet you think I forgot about your surprise. I didn't. In fact, we're headed to your surprise right now. After all these years, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. <laughs>